Hello YouTube subscribers and watchers from Slidener. This is Waves over here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a toggle button in Android. Now before we talk about anything, the first thing you guys want to see is what is a toggle button. Well, these are the kind of buttons which are called toggle buttons in Android. Now when do we use them? As you guys can see very specifically over there, there is something which has only two states, either on or off or yes or no or something like that. And when you have very two specific options and you want the user to switch between these options easily and effortlessly, that's when you should use a toggle button. For example, inside your app, you might want to change the light background into a dark background or a dark colored background into a light one if it is a reading app for usability, right? The toggle button also generates events like any other button which you see. So here, what happens when the toggle button is set or unset? an event is triggered, the Android operating system listens, everybody is notified but only one guy is interested. It is a guy known as on checked change listener. So what is this on checked change listener? Well, it's an interface in Java. It has a single method inside which you write code to determine what should happen when the button is set or unset. Now remember, this is just like a doorbell being rung. Someone rings your doorbell. Everybody inside your house hears the doorbell, but only one guy goes out and opens the door. The same way event listeners work in Android. So let's actually go and see the steps involved in creating a toggle button. First step, create the toggle button inside Java or XML. Now at this point, when the user tries to set or unset, nothing happens. So you need to implement this compound button dot on checked change listener who is responsible for writing code or running code that determines what happens when the button is set or unset. Now this has a method called on checked change inside which you write your code actually and it gets called every time the user changes the toggle button, right? Now remember, it also has a boolean parameter that you can use to determine if it is set or if it was unset. Now if these things look confusing to you, don't worry too much. We are going to go into Android Studio, make a simple app or you can say a simple test of the toggle button and see how it works. So here I'm using Android Studio, I have a toggle test project created and there is my main activity.java which has nothing inside and my appearance is defined inside the activity underscore main.xml which simply says hello world at this point. Now this is the design view, you can go to the text view and you can see what is there inside right. So the first thing we need to do is change this text, what I'm gonna do is make an application that changes the background color simply, I'm gonna say background over here, I'm gonna add a toggle button by going to design. So as you guys can see there's a toggle button over here i'm gonna drag it down and place it right below background so now we can customize the toggle button by something like this now what i want to do is i want to change the background color from white to black or black to white depending on the user switching between two states of the toggle button for that i'm gonna remove this text attribute i'm gonna say android text off by default what should the user see that's the first question you have so text off determines what the user sees when the toggle button is not set. I'm going to say change to dark color. And when the change has happened, that time I use the Android text on attribute. I'm going to say change to bright color, light color. Now at this point, if things look a bit confusing to you, don't worry too much about it. When the app runs, you will understand everything by default. But basically before anything runs, this is the option the user says. It says change to dark color. After the user has set that option, then he sees this which is changed to light color. As you guys can see, the button keeps switching between two states. So let's go to the main activity, link this toggle button inside Java code by saying toggle button. Link this to that XML object which we just created by saying t equals to find view by id. Remember the id which we gave for the toggle button here inside XML which was id slash toggle button and that's exactly what I'm linking over here, right? So I'm going to press alt enter to cast it automatically, remove that error. At this point, everything is set up. But now, we need to determine what should happen when the toggle button is set or unset. For that, I'm gonna first implement a listener, implements compound button. Now this is the listener which is gonna determine what should happen, right? So for that, I'm gonna remove this error first which says blah blah blah, abstract implement, press alt, enter, implement methods, click OK. And there you go. This is the method which gets called when the toggle button is set or unset. So here, as you guys notice, there is this boolean B. Now what are these two parameters? Let's try to understand them. The first parameter, compound button, is actually 
the name of the button which was clicked by the user and in our case it is nothing but this toggle button right and then this boolean b indicates if the toggle button was set or unset so let's actually see what happens if it is set right we can say if b equals equals true or if b simply so if the button is set then what should we do otherwise what should we do these are the two questions we are having right so we can do that with the help of this if else over here so next step now what am i going to do is very simple i'm going to change the background color of the relative layout when the button is set or unset right for that i need a reference to the relative layout now the first step for getting a reference is to give this relative layout an id i'm going to say android id at the rate access this relative layout object in java code so for that i'm going to say layout over here very simply and then i'm going to go to the main main activity create a reference of the relative layout by saying relative layout again link it the same way by saying r equals to find view by id r dot id dot layout again it's going to give an error blah 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 press alt enter cast and we are done at this point right so when the toggle button is set what i want to do is you guys remember by default everything is white in color so if i set the option i want to set the background color to something like color dot black and if it is unset I want to make the color again white right pretty simple now at this point everything is almost set but you know what this won't run because we have not linked the toggle button with this listener guy over here remember we have defined the listener the listener defines what code should happen when the toggle button is clicked but have you told the listener which toggle button he should be listening to well that is what we are going to do over here so for that i'm going to say over here t dot set on check change listener and i'm going to say this over here so at this point everything is perfect let's save it by saying control s click run at the top all right so at this point you guys can see the background and it says change to dark color now as i told you in the activity underscore main dot xml text off is the text which says change to dark color that means nothing has been tampered yet but as soon as you set it over here you guys can see it says change to light color and this is the text on attribute once the text is set and again it's very simple to see you got what is happening right the boolean b indicates whether it was checked or unchecked right so if if it is checked we simply set the relative layout's background to black otherwise we set it to light and you guys can see that in action over here if i say change to light color there you go change to dark color also the text changes inside the button notice that this is how a toggle button works so i hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.